welcome back everybody to Bloomfield, Canada here on FS22. We are continuing on with uh, picking up the grass from our grass field. Um, I did go ahead and skip to August. Um, so that's why the, the grass is slightly grown back here. Um, and that is really just so I could pick up some some contracts to do, some harvesting contracts, while I, you know, finish picking up this grass. So actually, I have it's sitting in the middle of a field. So I actually need to get. So I have a contract going here. Um, I did the harvesting here, and now it's just a cultivating. Um, I. This guy got stuck. I had a cultivating up uh, to the north end of the map as well. Um, so I picked up, let's see if I can dodge. All right, let me pull up the map. I picked up field 56, that's where this guy's going. And then I'm also gonna go over to 53. Um, I'm gonna do both of those with this um, equipment. Um, and then there's a set of three fields, smaller fields, up, uh, I think it's 12, 15, and 18, if I remember right. They're all oats. Um, I'm going to pick up a contract for, or some equipment for those and get those going. Um, and kind of have them going while I continue bailing and, no, still trying to get, still trying to get that money. Um... With every, with every month that goes by, I get a little more worried that we might not get there, so. We'll see. Still hopeful, but. Yeah, it's getting, it's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think it depends on how much silage um, we can sell. And how bad of a price we have to sell it for. Alright, so get you going. I need to pick up the other contracts. Um, so I'm not going to do 24. It's not really worth the time. So we'll pick this one, this one, this one. Actually, I'm going to put the details on. Okay, so this is going to be a, it's a small, um, some small equipment, small trailer, but since it's oats, um, it should be fine. Oats, you get less off the field, so we won't fill everything up as quickly. Let's just have you go here. And then, let's see if I can get this guy to do it too. So while I'm kind of working at this, um, I just do want to mention I started, should be out by the time you see this, um, started a new series on another map. Um, just like I said in the series, I don't know if I can pronounce it right, but uh, Oberkirkheim, I think it's called. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a small map. Uh, I think it'll be a fun kind of mini series to do on the side. I'll probably come out with just one episode for that a week um, and stick with two episodes on this and I might go down to just one episode on Medieval Dynasty just because um, the episodes are a little longer and they take a little bit more time to put together so um, yeah I think, I think just the four episodes a week for now and kind of see how that works I'm still trying to get my schedule together um, so yeah, we'll see how that works. All right, there's straw for sorghum. I forgot about that. I don't really know what you're doing. Guess you can go that way. Let's have you go up and down. Look at that. Look at our sugar cane coming in. That looks great. I'm 
excited about that. Alright, so you are probably almost done. You're still going. Alright, let's do some uh, do some bailing. So I did a little bit uh calculations based on I think it was based on the highest price of silage. Um if we can get 50 bales, it'll be about I think it was 50 bales. I th yeah. <laughs> did this calculation a few days ago and now I'm second guessing myself, but I'm pretty sure it was 50 bales at the highest price. I the typical average is price. Um yeah. It doesn't make sense. I'll just show you. Okay, so if you look on the right there in February, it says 190. So that's what I mean by the highest price. I use that number. Um and and it won't be there, obviously it'll be a little lower. But just for an idea. So 50 BLs at that price gives me roughly fifty thousand dollars um so if we can get if we can get somewhere around 300 grand without selling the bales i think should definitely i should i would hope that would be enough um and i think i'm gonna get double that in silage here if I remember right last time, I was probably close to 100. Maybe it was 100 bales, so give me 50,000. I don't remember. Either way, I think we need to get around 300,000, if possible, with contracts and stuff. So, roughly a little more than another 100 grand here in the next next two months because I think it's October where I can harvest the sugarcane I think I could leave it till November though if I remember right all right while you're wrapping that let's check on okay so these fields are both ready for the contracts you are probably stuck, yes. You did not make it far. Alright, I'm just going to drive it myself. So just thinking through, you know, my scheduling that I've been talking about. Um, I've mentioned some other series that I've been thinking about playing. Probably won't really get those started until either this one or, you know, the the new Upper Kirkheim playthrough um, is done, just uh, timing-wise. I feel like I'm going like really slow. I don't know, I guess that's just the speed. So, so yeah, it might be a little bit of time before that, but... Um, Again, I, I still need to do some planning on my environmental playthrough I want to do because I want to make sure I do it right. So, um, so yeah, I still look forward to that. Hopefully, hopefully we make some headway here in this series soon so we can kind of get rolling. Ah, oh, this feels ready too. I wonder if that one will pop up later. Let's see if it's there now. Not yet. Could take some fertilizing. Oh, such a long drive when it's, it's so slow. Oh man, that's sugar. No. Yeah, sugar beet. Whew. I would not want to harvest that field for sugar beets. feel like that would just that'd probably take a full real life day that'd be horrendous I'd have to turn the speed to like half speed just to get it done oh man doesn't sound like a good time 
Wait, I think there's a cut through here. Yeah. Yep, and I'll just I'll just start down here. Get you started. Um, yep, it looks like you need to come pick up. Hopefully that guy's still working over there. Yep, he's still moving. As long as he's still moving. I think these are all going, let's see, so the sorghum both go to the grain mill, the oats go to the cereal factory, okay. Cool. This guy's done. Cool. Take that. A lot of things going on. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna put a quick skip um, and bring you back when uh, when things get a little bit further along, so see you in a sec. Alright, welcome back everyone. We are just finishing the last few passes of the silage bales. Um, we are probably almost done, I think, with both of the first of the uh, first harvest fields um, So they're not going as fast as I had hoped and I can't skip to Well, I can skip to the next day, but I can't skip to the next month because har uh, Oat is not harvestable next month So if I don't want it to wither which I don't um, I'm not gonna skip ahead But uh, we're getting a pretty good amount of bales off of here. So let's see if I can um, finish this one up. And then uh, if you look at the bales this session, uh, it's 54. And I already had, I don't know, maybe about 20 before um, this session. So, yeah, I think possibly around 100. Sounds about right for the amount of total bales, so yeah, I think that'll be that'll be pretty good for us. I would like to potentially keep some and really only sell what we need. Um, so we can either sell it, you know, when it's the best price in January or December, or um, you know, keep some for the cows as well. Because the cows are just about done uh, with the TMR. Just a few hundred liters left. Um, and then, like I said, I do want them to eat some of that hay. At least down to maybe a few thousand. If it's not all gone, just for a buffer. But um, I don't want the hay taking up half of the total storage for food. So let them eat that a little bit. It'll decrease the amount of milk they produce but not by enough to really make a difference right now we do have what 10,000 liters so far of milk it's pretty good we'll sell that next month because uh, next month is actually the best price so we'll just sell all of that sell all the slurry just just because um, I did sell, I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I did sell the manure last time I played, just to kind of empty it out. Um, made about not even a grand off of it, so not really that much. 
I have to make sure I go fix this uh, tractor up after after the bailing is done. Putting putting it through a lot of work. I need to make sure the maintenance is kept up so it doesn't um, end up costing us more. I'm gonna do a check on everyone. Alright, you're gonna need picked up, so might as well just do it now. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better with how much silage we got. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think we can do it. Um, I'm a little bit I'm feeling better than I was even like 20 minutes ago. So, yeah, I think I think we can get there. It's all about getting that sugar cane harvest this year. It's it's probably not going to work out to make. Oh, fell behind. To make a bunch of money for us, but it should still it should still work out pretty good. Like I said, it'll it'll feel good just to start making some money off of like our first crop besides grass. And even though it's not getting turned into sugar to make the most money out of it possible, it'll uh It'll still be good for us. It'll be just one step closer to to the next thing, next piece of equipment, next field, so forth. Just a bit more. Cool. Get this guy to the road so you can not get stuck. Oh, I already had it set, so just redoing it. All right, you're good. Um, you might as well pick you up. Kind of doing the short passes right now, but that's okay. Driving all through this cornfield. Come on. One of two sorghum fields, so after this one, we've only got one more to do. It's a decent size though, so it'll take a little, little while. Let's take a look in the... Uh... Oh, it's moving. Get out of the way. Let me take a look in the store. Yeah, it's not really anything to go for. Is this for manure? Or is it just a trailer? It says muck. I don't think I've seen that. Is that a newer spreader? No. It's, uh, it's just a trailer. Interesting. Looks like it. It's like skinny, so it looks like it should be a manure spreader, but it's not. Hmm. 
So I was thinking if it was a maneuver spreader, uh, that could potentially work for us uh, to make a little, spend a little less money on fertilizer, but yeah. If this thing came up for sale, though, that'd be fantastic. So I think we could afford it if it did. Could probably afford it right now if it was up for sale. Doesn't even need to be 50%. Alright, let's finish these last two rows. And then I'm going to need to obviously pick up all the bales. And sometime before October, when we can cut again, I'm going to need to fertilize. pH is probably really low at this point because we still don't have equipment to do that but um, we're keeping up on the fertilizer to get you know as much as much off of it as we can all in good time that'll be, honestly that'll probably be the next thing I buy besides the sugar cane stuff just because you know I keep saying pH is really bad pH is really bad doesn't cost that much either. I just don't want to, you know, buy it now and not be able to do what we need. Let's see how much it is. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a decent amount. And I can get the smaller one for 45. And it holds, holds a little bit more. I mean, 18,000 is pretty good. I'll probably just save up and get the big one. Might as well. Unreachable. Oh, yeah. For some reason, he can drive in there and drop it off, but he can't get out. There you go. This guy's done. Perfect timing. Get you over here. I'm gonna have to drive around Sugar Cane Field because I will destroy crop. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember that when I'm driving through this area nowadays. Now that I start to own some of the things. Don't destroy a hard-earned crop. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Almost looks like it's ready to harvest. I think it does go to a different color, though. Double check just to be sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's not super dark yet, so it's still got a bit. Which is what we expect. It's a nice cotton field next to us. I feel like cotton is like very specific in that it requires such different equipment. Well, I guess really just the harvester is very different, but I don't know. I feel like in terms of, I don't know, I guess not role playing, but just trying to keep like a theme of a playthrough. I'm probably going to do like sheep and cotton together because obviously they kind of go together and do a run just for that. Um, you know, this is just a thought, like I don't have anything planned out or anything. I'm just kind of thinking out loud with some future future um, videos I can do. So if you guys have any, speaking of, if you guys have any maps uh, you would like me to play, like to see me play, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm always looking to, to play There's so many good 
modded maps on this game. Um, pretty much every single one I've looked at. I've been interested in playing in some, some way or form. I mean, some are different, have different styles and stuff to them, and they're better for certain gameplays than others, but yeah, um, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know, um, because most likely I'm going to already like the map, and, you know, I I would like to play something that you guys would want to see, so... So yeah, let me know what you think for that. Let me get some of this spare stuff kind of sitting around. It's not going to give me another bale, but might as well pick it up for the next time. All right, let's fold that up. See if I can back this in. I'm not. Well, that's okay. I'm not the best at backing this kind of stuff in. Um, what do I need? It is that. I must have picked this up. So I think I'm probably just going to keep the silage over here like I did last time for now. Um, you know, long term, that's not where I want to kind of keep it. It's just, to, you know, keeping it over there so I know what I want to sell. Because the ones I still have in there are for the cows. So I'll probably pile it up over there. Um... Uh, just, yeah. Yeah, like I said, just so I know that's to be sold. Let me check these guys. Yep. Okay. Had a feeling someone was waiting for me. Well, unfortunately, I won't be able to do this in one pass, so it's going to have to all the way back down. It's okay. Okay. Uh, you are full. It's probably all the way at the top. <laughs> Of course. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to, to stop. Um, in between episodes, I will get going on these harvesting contracts a little more while picking up the, the bales and placing them, you know, where I just said. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably bring you guys back, um, maybe when something interesting happens, uh, either, you know, some other contracts or, or, uh, something, because, um, yeah, really all I have to do that field is just fertilize it, and then that's really it, so. So, yeah, next episode, uh, I think we will probably be getting into the harvest time for the sugarcane and hopefully buying our sugarcane harvester for um for that so yeah it'll be it'll be exciting time so yeah i look forward to that so yeah okay thanks thanks for joining uh and i hope you join me again next time have a good one